Hello, my name is Catherine Rundle and I am the author of The Zebra's Great Escape, beautifully illustrated by Sarah Ogilvie. And it's a story that begins here by this swing set in the middle of Chalcot Square in Primrose Hill. And Mink is swinging on this swing set when she hears a noise in these bushes and it startles her and she jumps. And as she jumps, she falls out the swing and bashes her head. And from the bushes comes a zebra to tend to her, a tiny baby zebra called Gabriel. And as Gabriel breathes on her to check that she's all right, she finds that the bump on her head has shaken something inside her and she can understand him. And he tells her his secret, which is that his parents have been kidnapped by a wicked man called Mr. Spit. And so together with a mongrel dog called Rainbow and a very intelligent squirrel called Redentia, Gabriel Mink and their animal friends have to find a way to stop Mr. Spit, who are kidnapping animals before it's too late. And at the heart of the story is the idea that when you ask for help, you are doing something quite spectacular. You are giving people a chance to change things for the better. So when Gabriel asks Mink, with all his trust and all his faith, to help him, Mink knows that she has been given the greatest opportunity of her life. And they go hunting to see what it is that Mr. Spit has done. And it turns out to be even worse than they had suspected because Mr. Spit is a collector and he is collecting an A to Z of animals. So there are aardvarks and bears and capybaras, there are dingoes, there are lions. And of course, he's just reached the end. He's just reached Z. And when he reaches the end, he's going to kill them all and taxidermy them, unless Mink and Gabriel and the other animals can get there first. So it's a race against time, incredibly beautifully illustrated by Sarah Ogilvy, which began right here in Primrose Hill by the swing set, because it was a story I used to tell to my partner's daughter, who is the person to whom the story really belongs.